Hello, I am Zhao Yuangu, a robotics PhD student from Georgia Tech. I will present our work on task and motion planning for bipedal locomotion and the push recovery. Locomotion planning produces dynamic behaviors that often lacks decision-making abilities, especially in complex environments such as in rough terrain or under perturbation. Task planning is a powerful technique for decision-making and planning, but it is difficult to reason about continuous domains and thus is not flexible to disturbances or discrepancies. Let the robot can fall due to poorly timed disturbances where collision constraints can arise. We can leverage cross-leg motion which human uses under these constraint gate circumstances. Most locomotion planners also don't consider high-level task planning logic at the locomotion level, making complex motions difficult to compose. Typical locomotion pipelines directly handle disturbances with motion planning and control. Our pipeline incorporates real-time task planning using linear temporal logic-based reactive synthesis. We use the dynamics at key brain points in the center of mass phase space to dictate state transitions. A robust behavior tree middle layer handles any discrepancies between the discrete task and the continuous motion planning level. The task planning layer operates as follows. First, we construct a two-player game between the environment and the robot with reactive synthesis offline. Imagine this like a game of chess, where the queen must move positions based on its dynamics. The decision makers then provide desired transition actions based on the current frame to the behavior tree and the motion planner. The LTL will plan for multiple steps by composing together single steps. Here, we show simple forward walking with a stable limit cycle. For lateral disturbances, the LTL produces a single step that can return the lateral velocity to zero while walking forward. Cross-leg motions do not always terminate with zero lateral velocity. This allows the system to compose a multi-step recovery strategy. Here, we show stable recovery motions from multiple disturbances while walking. LTL composes the multi-step plan using the whole body action. Perturbations from the left, back, and front can recover in one step. Perturbations to the right forces a cross-leg maneuver that transitions to a one-step recovery to return to stable walking. To safely execute these transition actions with more detailed constraints, we formulate a whole body optimization problem with kinematic contact and collision constraints. This is further quantified by examining the maximum instantaneous velocity impulse at the various phases and angles of a single stance foothold. Left half plan represents single step disturbance rejection and the right half plan represents cross leg disturbance rejection. Here we perform a thorough perturbation testing on the current system. The moving treadmill platform can apply a controlled amount of perturbation to the CASI robot during a stable walking cycle, so we can have quantified and repeatable results of push recovery. We show four perturbation directions to represent the recovery behavior. When the platform perturbs towards the zero degree, the robot is forced to cross its leg to recover back to normal. When the perturbation is in 90 or 270 degrees, the robot slows down and speeds up accordingly, with no significant side or lateral movement. When the platform perturbs in 180 degrees, the robot takes a much larger wide step to stabilize itself. Thank you for watching, and special thanks to our collaborators.